What's up friends? I'm here on the Kawasaki with the Mick with the Kavi Sunnies on it. Uh, the new Sunnies mate. New Sunnies on it. Oh, hey. Look at that. I, I, I wore those today and I don't look real good in them. Uh, <laughs> they look good on me. So anyway, we're gonna do a quick review or we're gonna show you guys a, a beauty, beauty of KLR. And Mick did a bit modification on it and we're gonna talk about it. Tell me about the bike, mate. Right, this is the KLR 650. It's a 2018 model. And we do a lot of riding on the KLRs. And this is how I like them. I love the KLR for the price, the reliability. Uh, just the usability of, of a KLR. They're pretty good on the road, like they're, they're good fun up in the hills with the sports bikes. You see a dirt track, mate, bang, there you go. You can get a bit of air under them and so on. Um, and, and if you're a pretty good rider, you can chuck them, chuck them through um, like single trail enduro stuff pretty well. Yeah, the downside is they are pretty heavy. Uh, you got 21 litres of fuel, a bit over 21 litres of fuel, sitting right here. So you get a bit of weight on, on the front wheel. If you want to race enduros, don't buy a KLR. If you're budget conscious, you want to have a bike that does everything, they're perfect. But straight out of the box, yeah, they're not, they're not so powerful. Um, nice and reliable and smooth, but the power lacks a little bit in those guys. You're looking at 200 kilos, you want to get a bit of, a, a bit, bit of power out of them. So what we do to them, I'll tell you the secret at the end, but we set them up how I like them. This is one I built for me. I've been riding this one. We put an FMF pipe on the bike. I've got the little tags on here, so I might, get, might, might, might give it away. We put an FMF pipe on the bike. I put these Metzler, uh, yeah, well, these Enduro 3 Sahara tires on. The reason for that, on the road, they're pretty good. In the dirt, there's some gap in between there to get bite into that uh, into the into, into your soft stuff, get through there and get some traction. The standard tires are okay. These are just better. Only a couple hundred bucks to swap them over, so uh, a really good investment if if you want to do that off-road stuff. Um, so a good a good thing to put on there. We've also put a center stand on this one. SW Motec center stand. Easy to put the bike up. I think we've shown this before in our reviews. We've done the KLR heaps. Just pop that up there. Putting your center stand up, you have to put the side stand down first to get to the center stand. I'll just show you that actually. You can't. You know what? No big deal. It's not a deal breaker uh, for that there. So center stand. Um, we're over this side here. You've got your crash bars. These are S SW Motec crash bars, mate. I've been running these on all the KLRs. I've seen them worn flat and not a mark on the plastics. Um, so they're awesome, awesome bit of gear. Uh, some, the old ones used to come with highway pegs. We can't get them anymore, so don't worry about that. Um, We've also got the SW Motec bash plate. You can get under there, hat. SW Motec bash plate. Now the standard bash plates are a heavy duty plastic. Um, I've never cracked one and so on, but uh, this just gives you that reassurance. Now, if you're doing high speed stuff or hitting logs and rocks and so on, um, you know that's not going to crack. You know you're going to be right uh, with the, the base of that. So. We chuck those on. Um, well, that's that Sahara front tire. Good gaps, good, good grip uh, with that there. We also put on the factory tall screen. The standard screen only comes to about here. If you're doing long distance or highway stuff, chuck the high screen on it. Definitely um, throws it straight over your head. A really good investment there, uh, and it doesn't take up any room. We got these Barkbuster Jet handguards. Now basically they're a hardened aluminium on there with some, some protection from the elements. Rocks, coal, so on. Um, stops your levers breaking, 
and also protection a little bit. There's a couple of different types of these you can get. Uh, we run those, they curve down. If you have an accident, you can get your hand out, your hand doesn't get stuck. Some of them go straight, sometimes your hands can, hands can get stuck in there. We run the Bark Busters, you can get, you can get your hands out of them quite easily uh, in that. Um, I've run the standard suspension on this bike. Uh, the reason for that, I'm not loading them up, I only go for a day or half a day or something up in the, the hinterland up, up through here, through Montville Mullaney and the dirt tracks up through there. Um, so I don't carry any luggage, I chuck a camel back on, that's about it. So we got that, so what do we got? We got the pipe, we got the tyres, we got the crash bars, the bash plate, the centre stand. The thing that really makes this one different is we put on a Makuni 42mm flat slide carburetor. Now the standard, I'm pretty sure the standard is a 38 mil. They're a bit doughy. You can de-restrict them, fill the hole in, in in the slide or put the, I think Harley have a slide that goes straight in. Use the same carby on their sporty. Um, we get rid of that carby all together and we chuck it on. Have you, can you see that over that side, Happy? Or you, uh, come around here, mate. Oh, just like... Big flat slide carby sits in there. Now that sits really close to your starter motor. We set them up so they don't sit on, on your starter motor. We've learnt a few different ways to do these. They are hard to get in. You do have to cut some pieces. I'm sure if you're interested in this side of things, you've had a look on YouTube, you've seen uh, uh, other, other people do it. That's a 42 mil flat slide Makuni carby. Buy the genuine one, chuck it in there. I think they're around 700 bucks for your carby. Another four, four or five hours to put them in so if you allow yourself around a thousand bucks to chuck that in um, we, we, we jet them we, we know what jets to put in them what to do with them but right? and that that'll pick the front end up you know all those people out there with KLRs or maybe test ridden and thought ah oh, you know she's not too good but crack the throttle the front end will come up in first and second uh, tune them a bit better you can get them up in third we've got a guy in the states we know of um, third gear wheel stands just feed it on mate she, she picks up so you run all that uh, we didn't change the header pipe we left the standard header pipe on 42 mil Makuni carb done the air box mods on it where we've, we've cut air box and so on out uh, and the pipe all put that all together you've got a fantastic bike now these guys here uh, Kawasaki's retail on these is about $9,300 Australian dollars um, and so you, I don't know what that is. Uh, what's how's the Indian dollar work to Australian dollars? One dollar fifty, mate. Dollar fifty. So you're looking no, about one dollar Australian, and there is a fifty rupees. Fifty rupees. Yeah. Fifty but rupees. But the Coca-Cola price is same. The fuel price is same. It's mean economy is a bit different. Different, but the expenses is the same. So would this be like fifty thousand rupees? Yeah, probably 50,000 50, rupees. Just so. fitting that uh, carburetor all day. Can but, you get these in India? But Kerala not available. I would well, love to do that. That'd be the perfect place. Because uh, my, there's a couple of companies, yeah. they might have a competition and they don't want to let this bike in because uh. if this bike get in, those companies oh. would get screwed because a lot of people, a lot of riders, they like yep. those bikes because of the budget. Yep. If they buy this one, they those company knew maybe this bike not going for 20 years. Yeah. And what their bike doing, their motors, and they going within five years, they fucked up mine. They oh, won. so, so they brought like the other ones because yeah. these are going to last for too long. This is for last long, but the price is a bit different because 10 grand is probably uh, uh, half a million rupees. Yeah. But those bikes are probably quarter million like uh, 250,000 rupees yep and this one probably half a million twice the price twice the price okay but, uh, this one for four times longer so that's yep. why they maybe have competition they don't want to let in this bike okay because if they go this bike the people don't want to buy those and they must be fighting with the Kawasaki not right. we not letting in if you want to buy one of these click click like It'll give us an idea of how many yeah, people yeah. want. I want to buy a KLR, KLR over in India because I do a lot of riding over in India. Yep. I want KLR. 
Well, the KLR would be perfect over there. The roads, look, I haven't been there. The roads, yeah. The roads are apparently terrible. Yeah. Um, and so on and so forth. This machine there, so. have everything. This is six six fifty bike. Six fifty, yeah. And a single cylinder engine. Yeah. And this engine work like tractor and yeah. suspension on it. They're not going Good. anywhere. We can load this bike as a monster. And the wheels, the wheels are. Perfect, beautiful. They're yeah. heavy duty, not going anywhere. What I also would boot. do is change these pegs. Yeah. In the off road, you get some mud on your boots, mate. They can become pretty slippery. So, chuck a set of pegs on them. There's a few different aftermarket pegs out there. I haven't done it to this one as yet. I just thought of it. I thought I'd better do that because um, they are good. I've actually got a guy interested in buying this. So, yeah, this here in Australian dollars with all of these extras on it, this bike I could probably do for a bit over 11,000 Australian dollars. And, and you know what, yeah, okay, that, that is a fair bit to pay. These, as a standard motorcycle, are around the eight to 9,000 mark. You can get them for around there. Um, so an extra uh, $2,000, $2,000, $2,500 $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, two and a half will get you this full package one. Some people say, oh, you know, two and a half grand, I can buy one for eight, eight and a half thousand for the bike. Yeah, mate, no worries, we, we, we can do that. And we do it all day. Um, that's why I only build us one special one. I sell that, and I build. I build another one. They sell really well, and uh, they work really well. So you know, we can get you that. You don't have to get one with all the bits on it. You can get one with just the pipe and and the carb. If you're riding it on the road more times, the last one I sold it had the standard tyres on it. Um, you know, that makes it a little bit cheaper. Uh, you, you might not want the crash bars. You might not want the bash plate. You know, it's all around there. So you know, one with a carb and a pipe, you're probably looking around ten grand. Mate, what a bike! And what a bike! Will you give all the grunties with that? All the things that if anything happened? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you still you still retain your warranty, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. We tune it up so it's not going to uh, blow up on you or so on. Uh, some of the fine tuning on it, we it takes a little bit of time uh, yeah. to get that because it's so hard to get the carby in and out. Yeah. You'll tune it up to where you think go for a run oh she might pop a little bit might be a bit lean off the bottom a bit rich at the top whatever so then we've got to change change a few mm -hmm. things because if there, the people so. do some aftermarket stuff on a modification on a carby or on engine and they lost the grunt here and you were saying Kawasaki, yeah, Kawasaki man. not going anywhere <laughs> don't, don't have a problem man. you were <laughs> saying the people can to uh, make that uh, uh, engine into 750 or seven oh yeah there. yeah i've seen guys some um, with them uh there's a seven there's a 680 kit that i know of um and then i think there's a 701 or 710 uh with the 680 is a piston and a rod i'm pretty sure when you go into your bigger ones you got to get them re-sleeved and, and push sleeves out of the, the barrels and it's a fair bit of work yeah. the klr to do all that, like it's all well and good to do that, but then you're spending up in the thousands and thousands. Yeah, more. I don't get the big bike. Just go and buy something that's uh, you know yeah. a fourteen thousand um, uh, dollar uh, adventure bike. Yeah. You know, with the grunt, a bit more suspension clearance and so on, mm -hmm. fuel injection, you know, all all that stuff. You don't have to worry about it. But you know, these are a model that I love for the value for money for what you're getting, and I love going riding. And, uh, and and just enjoying this bike for what it is. People talk, oh, resale, who cares about resale? Just wear the bloody thing out, you know. You get these on the second-hand market, a 2017 or a 16 model for around six six grand, a 15 for around five, a 14 for around four, and then under that, they all sit around three to three, three to four grand. But you buy a 2018, you do this stuff to it, you keep it, you do 100,000 Ks on it, mate. And yeah. then you throw it in the bin. Who cares? So, what's the price for today? If right now, something looking for this one? Yeah. So I had to stand up. My knee was yeah, going. Mate. That's why I ride KLRs <laughs> as well. <laughs> I don't move as good as I used to. But this one here, if they want this all up, ready to rock and roll, um, mate, ten nine ninety, right away. Whatever rego's left on, I think there's about four, four or five months worth of rego. Yeah. I've had it for a month. And they don't have to spend even one dollar for no. any any stuff. What I'll even give you a full, full tank of juice, mate. There's another yeah, 21 cool. litres. What's about 400 bucks nowadays, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about the panniers, mate? Might have a set of panniers. They did have a uh, a free set of panniers with them last month, yeah. uh, the month of July 2018. So uh, that's finished this month. Um, but uh, look. Give me a ring, see what we can do. Yeah. But mate, you you you'll you'll love this bike. It's a good thing. 
Can uh, you deliver this bike anywhere in Australia, my city? Oh, my. Yep. Same stuff. They can't uh, see any other store in the Australia somewhere else. Oh, the is there other Team stores Moto? in Australia? Team Moto, mate. Yeah, yeah, Kawasaki dealers. Look, any kind of Kawasaki dealer out there um, can can do this. Uh, some of them don't, but yeah, we specialise in it. We do it here. I've sent them to um, uh, Alice Springs. Sent one to Alice Springs out there, chucked it on a truck, all done. Yeah. Mate, fella loved it. Uh, sent them up to Dysart up in the central Queensland. Um, we've sent them down to New South Wales. Look, you know, we, we want to look after the guys. Had a guy from uh, Gosford ring me, or oh, probably a week or two ago. Uh, oh, mate, saw your video. I want to get it done to my bike. What do I do? He's going to come up and we'll we'll do it to his as well. So um, this is what we do. We love it. We enjoy it. We ride them. So uh, when this bike will be available for ride? Oh, my, uh, mate, it'll be ready shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. I've just got to the jetting on the car. We've just got to pull it out. Got to spend another hour on it. It's just missing a bit down low. So we've got to do that. Um, I ride. It. I've done about 230 k's on it. And uh, it's just, I just want to get it tuned, so we've just ordered another jet for it. But um, look, you know, I've uh, I've got it on my on the Aussie Cowie Man side, I put it on there, uh, just a quick run around the block, um, have a look on there. And uh, but you know, stay tuned to this channel here, make sure you subscribe so you can see the next one come up. We've got that, we've got heaps more happening for you, and uh, yeah, so enjoy. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks, Happy. Thanks, uh, come and have a run on, on, on this bike and uh, mate, let me know what you reckon. Put some comments below. Uh, we try and answer them all. And, um, you know, we don't care if you don't like it. Just tell us. We don't mind. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> we well, got others you can like, mate. It's all yeah, good. Yeah. Enjoy, eh? <laughs>